Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are continuing on part 22 of Tabby's journey through Baldur's Gate 3. In my last episode we absolutely wrecked it with destroying a hag, saving a damsel in distress, but also bringing back her dead gory husband, but providing her with an extra set of hands for around the house. In this episode, I'm actually not quite sure what we're going to do at the moment. We're going to have a look and see what quests we have left. We are after exploring a lot more of the area. We might keep doing that before we go through the rest of the goblin camp. Because I think it might be one of the last big missions in the area. We just want to have ourselves leveled up a bit more than that. Currently, we're at level 4, so we're doing quite well. But no harm in exploring the place thoroughly and going around. So, let's jump straight into it. So, first thing I'm going to actually do is, I'm actually just going to kind of gear up everyone a bit. Tavi is kind of encumbered quite a lot. So, what I might actually do is, we might go back to the Emerald Grove and just try to sell some things. Uh, just to see how that goes. No harm in it. But yeah, the rest of them, I'd kind of like to gear them up a bit. Okay, she she is wearing that. Spider step. Yet again, I know Gale does be looking for this kind of stuff, but I'm actually not going to give him any of the, what would you call it, like the magical items until he's actually looking for them. No, it might be, makes it easier. Oh, Will is wearing that. No one is wearing that, though. Protection for good. Actually, that seems very like it would be a cleric. Tavi has that equipped. Yeah, the rest of them, they aren't magic, but they'd be possibly good just for selling. Oh, I'm going to give her the violin just in case she likes to do a performance. Yeah, but realistically, now do I have a second? Oh, oh no, that was the <laughs> that was the one he already had equipped. I don't know if you can remember, but I was saying before I'd like to give him two, uh, two daggers if I can. So actually, while we're in shopping, we might try to get him an extra dagger as well. Now the last place I was was at the yeah the Riverside Tea House. I think I kind of gotten everything from there. Back to the grove here. There's a few people I can go in and actually sell things to. Quick so step. we'll go in, make a bit of money, honey. And yeah, continue on. We have quite a lot of the area. Still have to get her. Now the only issue with oh, that interrogate that prisoner is really annoying me as well. I might actually read the quest to find out where they are. So that Carlac, I know Will has a soul mission to kill her, right? So my fear is if I go get her, I'm going to have to make a decision between the two of them. And I genuinely don't know who I'm going to pick because I'm going to be quite honest. A barbarian in the group would be pretty handy just to have a tank. Don't waste a step. So in all honesty, right, well. I could easily get rid of Will, but I don't want to because he's so aligned with Tavi. Need anything else? Yeah, I need to sell you a load of my Always stuff. Happy to help those who follow the first circle. Yes, no problem. How much do you have then? Tavi is loaded. But that's fine. I mean, like I said, I'm going to be... I'm going to be trying to get stuff for, say, Astarian with the daggers. I think uh, these are all the stuff I sold him before. That is too funny. Right. Where to even start with all this? Do I have gear down here? Yeah, ritual staff. Topple. Yeah, I don't think we need that really. Torch. Oh, that's yeah, I was thinking that meant it was burning. You take that. Cleaver. We don't need... Yeah, I don't actually need any of these rings, I'll be honest. 
Or do I? Oh, now I'm now I'm going maybe. All right, we're going to take them back. I'm going to tell you my thought process is now. I'm worried that they are peoples that she has been say stealing from, and it might be a quest to actually give them back to the people that she stole them from. That's just where my thought process went there. Might need that stuff for alchemy. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, for some reason, I thought like Tabby had so much more stuff, but now I'm going through stuff. I'm like, I kind of want to keep everything. Let's see. Let's go with the rest of them. Chainmail. It's heavy. Get rid of that for now. Scale. Yet again. Not really needed. Great axe. Get rid of that too. Astarian is kind of like our second bag. He has a lot of random stuff too. Just take all of this. Smoke bomb. No, we'll, ke we'll keep the smoke bomb. Light letter. Oh yeah, he, he actually had a lot as well. What's this ritual stuff gone? The unclaimed. Oh. We might now, I just, I don't know why it has, I don't know if that just means that it's worth, it's not worth a lot of money, so actually I don't know what that means. Yeah, you just take all my stuff there. I have a cauldron. And a cooking pot. Some tongs. Longbow. Yeah, he can't choose that. Anyway, he can't choose a war hammer. Yeah, I think that's quite good. Now, do you have any daggers, good sir? I'm going to doubt it. I was wondering if there was a way I could have... Oh yeah, sorry. This makes more sense. Weapon or equipment. Consumables, magic. Actually, consumables. We are going to take all of them. Oh, I guess. Yeah, camp supplies. You gain... Hmm. Gale. But he can possibly use that. That's actually a nice one. Go on, I'll give you... You can actually use something decent. That one-handed, burnt alive. I don't know who can use that, but we actually have quite a lot of money. So we're going to buy that as well. Consumables. I don't think we've saved that. That is medium. 200. Rain Dancer. That's... Uh, oh, that's a wand. Oh no, it's a quarter staff, sorry. Yeah, no, there is wares. Oh. I must figure that out about how that's wares. Oh boy back. Yeah, so they're all things. That's fine. Sylvanus be with you. And with you, good sir. There is also a blacksmith. Interesting. So let's go and find the blacksmith because I can sell stuff to them as well. Oh yeah, and Ethel's. I should be allowed to... Oh, I think I can because she's dead. <laughs> We're gonna F5 that. I think I can just take all of her stuff now. Might be useful. It's not even stealing. But absolutely no. Volos. I'm pretty sure that is the fella who's in our place. The book is handwritten in swigging scrawl. The red ink of an eager editor slashes through most of its contents. Two inscriptions, each in different hand, are scribbled inside the cover. V? Absolutely not. E. Dearest Elmeister, While you may lack imagination, nymphs, I assure you, do not. Nor does the public that eagerly awaits this work. I will refrain from publishing this piece for now, but only that I may conduct a more extensive bout of research. Your friend these many years, Volotamp Gedram, 
author, researcher, raconteur, etc. We will bring that with us. Yeah, I actually don't trust him either, being quite honest. Oh, the, I do like the toad. Um, yeah, pretty sure that's everything we're going to need here. Blacksmith Smithy is over here. He's saying he's a trader, but I'm pretty sure he's a smith. Come on. Let's have a chat. Let's do things honorably. Looking for steel? I have, well, something close. That's a bit worrying. Now, do you have a dagger, good sir? You surely, surely have a second dagger. Hmm. We'll have a look. Um, that would be quite nice. Oh yeah, and it's actually super cheap. So yeah, we will. We're gonna get that for her. Oh, Hunter's Mark. I just, I have so much money now that I'm finally like, let's kind of gear them up a bit. Padded armor, so 15, 15. Yeah, that's actually better. Battle axe. Is that what she's... Oh no, yeah, she's using a mace. wonder does he have a mace. He does have a mace. With a weapons enchantment. They all just say weapons enchantment, but they don't say much else. I mean... Battle axe, though, is actually possibly two-handed, so I think we'll just go with this. But at least, yeah, there we go. She's really starting to look a bit kitted out. That's heavy, yeah. I wonder, yeah, you can, like, shift. I mean, I'm on Shadowheart, so I don't know why it showed me, like, Tabby's ones. Kind of wish it was showing me, like, how they go with Shadowheart. Let's have a look at what he's wearing, though. So he's at 11. So this actually is good for him. I know, look, he's already stealed anyway, but... Here, if it helps, it helps. I am not seeing any daggers, which I'm super surprised by. I think it has to be another dagger to be equipped that will actually make any difference. Oh, that's an arrow. Yeah. I think, yeah, it would have to be a second dagger to be added. I don't think I could add maybe a spear... If I do see... No, I'm not seeing a dagger there either, actually. I think that is all of the... I think that's all of the kind of businesses here, or shops here. Oh, besides, uh, besides that fella down there, which I don't think we'll be dealing with him again business-wise. Yeah. I think that's it. So now, I think we'll just go back out again. Because uh, I'm not stealing that, truth be told. We already investigated that tea house, but it doesn't actually say what else for that tea house. So complete. Things turned here. Yeah, she was not happy with us. Find the Gishiaki. Fresh, we haven't gone there. Embrace your potential. Discover the artifact secret. Investigate. Yeah. Raid. Yeah. She plans. Oh, oh, yes. Okay. Now I know why he's showing there, because we've done it. We probably have to go back to her and say, yes, we investigated him. We spoke to him. That makes a lot more sense now. And the crash area. Destroy the ancient tomb. Oh. 
We'll find out with time. Yeah, we've completed a good few. I don't know why these haven't gone to completed. We shan't argue with it, I suppose. But let's now. Yeah, I think we kind of... I might go here because we didn't actually look down this way and I just see no harm while we started there. We will eventually go up for Carlac. Yeah, the poor brothers. See what I mean? We didn't go down this way. So just while we're here. Don't think we'll find too much, but no harm. Oh. Something over there. Very good. Let's have a dig. No, I'd say there could be some stuff out here. Very nice. Mine three of these to get an extract. And we're a bit more geared up now as well. Quite happy with that. Wooden trunk. Let's have a look. Disarm too. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder is that because there's a trap around here? Oh, it's so creepy, isn't it? Yeah, it's very creepy and dark. What? What did you fail? Shadow Heart failed a perception check. Possibly a trap, I would guess. Wicker basket. I not really seen any traps though. Then again, I did nearly get blown to absolute smithereens in that hag's place. I do think whatever is out here, it's not going to be good though. Fire. Someone's been here and they actually look like they could be dead. Yeah, I'm seeing blood. Blood everywhere. Oh! Gonna say this is hardly remember your one said that she was staying with her with her teacher out here and then they got attacked. With the dust of their journey still clinging to book boot and cloak. Oh never mind. I've actually read this already. Yeah. We actually already have that. We will take all though. Apple Pouch. Yeah. Lots of nice camp supplies. Hmm, I wonder what got them. I am still well aware that we are being followed by something that we don't know yet. I'm sure it's going to make its presence known at some stage. Can't reach. There we go. Yeah, I don't think we can go any further. Even with jumping and things. Up and up. Yeah. We we'll keep going around though. Mm, putrid bog. That's just the other side. I think this is going to lead us to the other side. Remember, I was trying to go... I was saying I should have gone under the bush really to have gotten there. Slight a hand. Oh, it might be just to not get hurt with that. Yeah, I can't really... It's not a whole lot more. Oh, we can go around there. We just have to wade through the water. Interesting. Oh, now it's coming back out of the bog again. <laughs> uh, okay. Not weird. A worn note splattered with mudge attached to the doll. It was clearly written in a hurry. Hold this every time you miss mommy, baby, and do not leave camp back soon. Oh no, that's not good. I'll take that. 
You know, might find someone we can give that back to. Don't leave camp. Could be one of the tiefling children. Children? I'm wondering how far out can we walk? Like, can I... Oh, I bet you we can walk out a good bit. Let's find out. Oh, sorry, where are we? Yep. Good woman. Feel bad for them getting their shoes wet. No one likes wet shoes. There is nothing worse than wet shoes or wet socks. Can you come up here? No. Good woman. Let's see how far we can get. Hmm. Should get started. Definitely won't be any battles out here. Oh. Oh uh, yeah, I was gonna say I don't think these guys are gonna want to talk. What is that? I have no clue what half of these things are. Shift. Oh, he can actually hide there. Time for a new approach. Ah, uh, but sure, you can't hit them because they're too far away. Let's see. He's not going to save. Is he going to save? Can you hit now? Oh, there we go. 18, one down. End that turn. This is my time. They are all around there. I could possibly. I mean, do I just get him to hide? No harm in trying this one, and we see they might not be able to see us. Dash water. He's wet. Might be able to electrocute. And yet again, not sure why sometimes that takes a while to actually... Oh, can they make more? Yeah, not sure why. Sometimes it takes a while for them to actually do their spells. Oh, there's enough of them anyway, I suppose. No. Any lightning. I mean the thunder wave, but that's like five meters away. Does Shadow Heart have the blade always sharp? Let's turn someone inside out. No, maybe not. I thought I'd given one of them well, um, so much for peace. What would you say the electric one? Possibly not. Probably can now because he's wet he won't ignite as easily. He has no metal, so... My fave! Yeah. Not gonna maybe do as much. We'll end that. Plus 10. I don't know what that's about. Are they getting healed? Oh wow, they're really pulling up a lot of them. This round, they all just seem to be just having to move. So it's not the worst. He goes here. Then he's in water. Yeah, no disadvantage. 65. I can only do 1 to 10 though anyway. Let's see how they do with fire. It seems to be like maybe a normal kind of reaction, actually. Yeah, no hope. I don't really know where I can go to actually hide from them either. Shadowheart just chilling over here. Uh, no time to dally. Can't get here. You may jump in, girl. Of chilling over there. No, I mean, we'll keep her there for now. I think it's his go anyway. Yeah, if he goes back, maybe.
Yeah. The blade will not bend. Eldritch Blast. 16, I mean 65. Doubled movement cost. Regeneration. Oh, okay. Let's start taking out the minions. There. Oh! I don't know what happened there, but... I'm not gonna argue. Is that because they were wet? Does Eldridge Blast? Is that... Maybe it kind of counts as... I don't know. They are not gonna argue. We like that. Oh! Well, it missed. I'm assuming it may have tried to blind him. Straight on you again. Boom. Yeah, I know, look, it isn't really amazing against them, but we won't argue. Oh, these lads might have to get close to actually attack. Gonna move him up here. Cunning hide. 64. Let's get Come him. Then. 17. Another one down. End his turn. And because it went so well the last time. Oh, great hit. Dark One's Blessing. Saved. Well, you know what we're going to do again, my dear? Straight back down on top of you. And 15. Very good. No time to rest. And goodbye. Before we all walk through it and end up dying. Let's have a look. Yeah, I've never come across those kind of guys before now, I must say. Even in my D and D. -ing. Oh shield. Oh will encumber Right. Let's get my second bag to do some picking up and As long as I remember to go back to Tavi for any of the actual juicy stuff. No one stopped me yet. No, they haven't, my, my dear. Way. Yes. Come over here. I don't I'll know where this is leading us myself. to. It possibly won't let us go too much further, I would Looking imagine. Ahead. At the ready. What's in here? This is probably just something small. Twisted vines. Oh. Yeah, I'd say if we walked on that, it would entangle. Looks like, oh no, this might be just so we could have got an advantage when fighting them. Right now. Oh, that's hide. <laughs> Jump. Jump. Just in case there's anything nice up here. We'll have a little quick walk around, see if there's any perception. Nah. Nothing actually. Chest out over there though, wooden trunk. Trying to think, can we get over? I yeah, I don't think there's gonna be anything much over nice there now. And quiet now. She couldn't jump to anything there anyway. Look, we can walk out through there, so that's good. And we'll just get this. Something good here. I hope so too. Let's find out. Slowly but surely. Yep. Ah, oh, sure. They're kind of they're hiding anyway. Yeah, we like all those. Uh, can't reach. Yeah, I think to go around we'll have to jump back around again. No easy way of getting back around. So yeah, this is just like I suppose a little small place with some. There doesn't seem to be anything to investigate on it. Yeah. Not an exciting anyway. Yeah. Okay. So back around we'll go again. Jumping. Not too far to go. I might just take them out of hide. She's moving. Maybe I didn't. Oh, yeah. It was just her that maybe had it on. 
Uh, too far. Go here. Now it should be... You should make us? No? Maybe not. How do we get back over? Come back here. Come back. Okay. We're just going to... <laughs> Because I can't, I can't be going back around that again. Uh, yeah, we might just walk down. Nope, we do not want a custom marker that. We just kind of didn't go On around way. that way. Did I? Okay, that's the way I just went. Let's go up this way for a little look. See, oh, like who's he? Something's on my mind. Please don't attack me. I only want to talk. Ah, stranger. Forgive the aroma. You catch a waft of something foul, metallic, and sickly sweet. Powdered iron vine. An old hunter's trick. Most monsters will think twice before making a meal of me. You're a monster hunter. I'm surprised. I thought all girl were vagrant cutthroats. Hmm. Pardon who? I knew you were jackass, but a racist. I'm shocked. Ignore the elf. He talks too much. I'm gonna say say nothing. And more. We steal chickens, curse your crops, seduce your daughters. The list goes on. I wish I had half the power settled folk think my people possess. Alas, I am a simple wanderer. A simple wanderer and monster hunter. But I'm no witch doctor or cutthroat. Don't know why the audio keeps dipping there. I don't know if... Well, I'm assuming if I'm hearing it, you're going to be hearing it as well. I Just so you're aware, it's not to do with my editing, which will be done later on. It's actually just something to do with the audio. Um, oh, I assume you want to kill the hag. Well, guess what? Or to make a deal with her. <laughs> Probably think you can outfox the old dear. Right, but very wrong. My prey is a vampire spawn, much less impressive than the beast that lives here. His name is Astarian, but I fear he's gone to ground. I was hoping the hag of these lands could help me flush him out, but it seems she is no more. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, only a spawn pity, not like a real vampire. I don't know. I'm sure a vampire spawn could still rip out your throat if he felt like it. He is right, unfortunately. They are only weak when compared to their masters. During the day, we have the advantage, but at night, when they hunt, you'll not find a more deadly quarry. Oh my god, this is too funny. <laughs> oh, not going to interesting, Astarian. Um, thank you for the warning. We'll be careful. May your road be kind. Wait, that's it. We're just walking away. Don't you think we should do something about the vampire issue? Oh, <laughs> fine. This is a starian. No, um, uh, do what? Oh, this would be more of a tavy. Fine, but if this comes back to bite us, it's on your head. Go in peace, my friends. I pray our paths cross again. They better bloody not. <laughs> <laughs> As Darian is so like for a lad who should be keeping somewhat under will say lock and key, he's a uh, no oh she's encumbered again. Tavi, you're such a hoarder. I don't know what I just done there. Oh there we go. What could we possibly have now? Yeah, look. I know part of me, we should probably kill him now, but being honest, I actually can't wait to see how this is going to turn out. 
And I do think we could possibly handle him as well anyway when we need to. Um, I suppose we'll find out anyway, won't we? Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. If we took on the hag, I'm sure we're going to be able to take on that guy at least. Too funny. If you were really bad, you could have just given a starion up just there and then being like, yeah, well, there you go. Actually, I should just start sending some of these things back to camp. I actually keep forgetting I can do that. Uh, send to camp. Hot Lydia, yeah, we need to send that to camp. Loot. Yeah, let's send that to camp. Bronze signet. I have a lot of skulls, surprisingly. Probably too many skulls for any normal person to actually have. I like keeping the books. I don't know why. It's just in case any of them turn around and... Decide they want it in the future. Uh, send to camp. Send all these weird masks to camp. Yeah, I think where we I think we're doing okay actually at the moment then. Half eaten an apple, I mean keep that for now. We will have five thus. Oh yeah, we never I mean I'm not clearly gonna drink from the well, but it would have been interesting to see what would have happened. Oh, that's just saying there's a person there. It's not... It's not giving me, like, a quest, say. We might run back down around there. We didn't actually have a proper look. Even though I think we might have to go back into the house for that. It's just before we go on. Because I think, yeah, we might try to go over towards Carlax Way now. See if we can find her. I doubt there's anything much out here, though, being honest. But I was so thrown off with that Connor skeleton guy any being enemies? there that I didn't look at anything else. Yeah, like, see, we can still, we can actually run along. Oh, well, sure, that's into the place. Is there anything up along here though? We can run up a bit here. Which I don't know why. Maybe we can circle along? No. We can go here though. Yeah, now that's okay. Not so much of interest, but I at least have that bit of the map done. I still don't know why that is there. So actually, look, we're done quite well now. We have a lot of the area kind of checked out. Now, where do I go? Blighted Village, I suppose, is the easiest one for us to go to. And we head north then from there. I don't know if I should put Will... You know what? I think I'm gonna send Will back to camp. Let's go, let's just jump back to camp real quick. I'm going to swap Will out for. Let me see. We haven't had Gale in a while. Why don't we go with Gale? We'll leave Will here. Just because I mean, look, we might be able to get. I'd like to get that Carlac onto the team. Well met. Well, I'd like you to wait. Are you sure? The blade stands at the ready. I am a hundred percent. And just when things were warming up. Oh, they're about to get a lot warmer, Will. A lot warmer. Gail! Oh, you'll have to speak slowly. I'm finding it quite difficult to concentrate. My condition gnawing at my insides like a teething displacer kitten. Oh, fine. I'll give you a magical that artifact. most gratifying to hear. May I? Give Gail an artifact. Now, what, what would we least? The game one momentum per turn. I 
think that. Do we really need it? Not really, I don't think. Tax. Starion has a few bits, actually. Guidance. Oh, is that... No. Actually, I thought that was the lightning one. It isn't. Thank you. Gods. It hardly has any effect. Oh, Mistra, have mercy on us all. Listen, I need to speak to you, to all of you. It would be unconscionable of me to remain silent. Okay, go on then. I might just be about to remedy that. You have to know who I was. You have to know who I really am. What I am is a walking shadow of the promise I once held. I'm what one might call a wizard prodigy. Who from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it. Much like a musician or a poet. Such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself. The Lady of Mysteries. The Goddess Mistra. She revealed herself to me and she became my teacher. In time she became my muse. And later even my lover. Oh, Gail. Uh, <laughs> uh, are you telling me you made love to a goddess? Oh, yes. We enjoyed each other's company. Body, mind, and soul. But even so, I desired more. You see, no matter how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, we never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, I stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. Oh, well, Gail, that isn't good now, is it? Uh, da -da. Yeah, you thought you were better than her. You're more fool than I thought. Quite. I tried to convince her. I pouted. I pleaded, swore my ambition was only to serve her better. But she only smiled and told me to be contented. But inconceivable as it seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess, and yet I wasn't satisfied. So I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. We come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? Yeah, go on, tell us all. Let's do it. Very well. Here goes. Once upon a very long time ago, a mighty lord lived in a tower. A flying tower, to be precise. I'll save his history for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. And he almost managed, but not quite. His entire empire, Netheril, came crashing down around him as he turned to stone. The magic that was unleashed that day was phenomenal. Roiling like the prime chaos that outdates creation. Even the weave itself could not withstand the onslaught. It fractured, then shattered, and all magic was lost to the mortal realms until the day Mistra returned. She restored the weave, reuniting all its scattered shards. Or so I thought, until, in the course of my studies, I learned of a book, a netherese tome in which a piece of the fractured weave had been sealed beyond her reach. What if, I thought, what if, after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess? Hmm, I guess you ruled out flowers and chocolates. Um, oh, and what was the answer to that question? The answer was to try. And the outcome was to fail. I was certain that this deed of raw power, draped in romance, would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. I was mistaken. I obtained the fabled book, 
and took it into my study. As for what happened next, here, place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in, into the dark. You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread memory. A book bound then suddenly opened. Inside there are no pages, only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pounces. Its teeth, its claws, it's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. And gods, is it ever hungry. So I think he kind of has a book inside him then. Yank your hand away. Um, how are you still alive? Thankfully, the moment I absorbed the fragment wasn't enough to kill me outright. It was only the beginning. Poor Tabby's face. <laughs> She's like, what? <laughs> this netherese blight, this orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, it remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize, however. So now I'm like, do I actually bring him with me? Uh, go on. I will erupt. I don't know the exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of Netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry, it'd level a city the size of Waterdeep. Oh, well, that's not good. Um, uh, is there nothing we can do? We might chance upon a king's collection of magical artifacts around the corner. We might cross paths with a miracle round the bend. Then again, we might not. All of this, it must feel like a betrayal. Say the word, and we'll part ways. No, Gail. We can never part ways. Not with your fantastic pyjamas. We've come this far, we'll continue on together. That is a great relief. Oh, a great relief indeed. You truly are a soul that steals my own. From all my new rallied heart, I thank you. I thank you all. I understand if you stand against me. I'm humbled if you stand with me. Either way, I will do my best not to let you down. I stand at a precipice. But if you do not give up hope, neither shall I. I'll fight. I'll resist as long as I can. Now, even I am tired of the sound of my own voice. Let us venture forth. Absolutely. Now, um, I have to talk to you again and get you to join us. <laughs> What's on your mind? Uh, join me, why don't you? With pleasure. Lead on. Oh, you know what? While we're here, after I Lovely level him up, David. of course, I'm going to have a no. talk with Astarian. <laughs> See how he feels after his close encounter. Two spells. Oh, very nice. Blur. Clouded daggers. An AOE would be quite handy to have. Uh, detect thoughts. Reduce or enlarge. Gust of wind. Told person. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. We'll accept that. Prepared spells. Grease. Thunderwave sleep. Which is bold. There's our lightning. Very good. We will accept. Yeah, I thought it was a force one as well. Ah, another cantrip. Shocking grasp. I think he actually has to touch them for that dough. I like having things at a distance. We get another two spells. 
false life. Better fall. Raise sickness. And... Oh, deal damage each turn. Okay. Knock. <laughs> See invisibility. Oh, that's a nice one to actually have. Now, feet. Feet for our friend. You know what? An ability improve might be good. Just make him a bit... I don't know, stronger maybe? Durable. Your spells ignore resistance. Oh, to... Oh, to a damage of your choice. Mage Slayer. Mm, mobile. Former. Ritual Caster. Yes, again, look, I think we just want to go, like, something easy. I think I'm just going to go ability improvement, quite honestly. And I'm going to go for what he's already high in. Yeah, you know what? Me as well. And, oh yes, Astarian. Right. what now? Let's see if he's anything to say about what happened. Yes. Uh, okay. Oh yeah. So it would seem. Hopefully he bumps into some gnolls while stumbling around at night and that's the last we hear from him. Uh, and why was he hunting you? I didn't do anything. I was kidnapped, just like you. It seems Cazador wants me back. Cazador must be his uh, vampire. Cazador Tsar is a vampire lord in Baldur's Gate. The patriarch of his coven and a monster obsessed with power. He turned me nearly 200 years ago. I became his spawn. And he became my tormentor. Oh my. And are you sure he's behind this? It was him, I'm sure. Only he would know to send the Gur after me. It was a group of Gur that attacked me that night in Baldur's Gate. I would have died had Cazador not appeared and saved me. Oh. Saved you from turning. <sighs> well... He didn't mention the slave claws at the time. And now he sends a Gur monster hunter for me. It's a message. He's reminding me of his power. Even in the middle of nowhere, he can reach me. And he wants me back. And why... But why capture you? Why not just kill you? Maybe he wants to make an example of me, to show what happens to runaways. Or maybe he thinks death is too good for me. I thought you were kidnapped. Um, I'd say, well, you're safe with me. <laughs> safe? You think I'm safe? Do you know the power a vampire lord possesses? He can change shape, turn into mist, call walls to do his bidding, shrug off blows like they're nothing. He could walk into our camp tonight and kill you with his bare hands. And you'd be lucky if death was the worst thing that happened to you. Well, I just took on a hag and I killed her, so you never know. Um, <laughs> I won't get too full of myself. Uh, can he do it? All right, what do you suggest? First, we have to... Uh, uh, I don't know. Well, if we kill his lackeys, he'll just send more. We just have to be vigilant, keep our wits about us, and kill any monster hunters on sight. Um, uh, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna leave that. I don't know if he's too right about it all, I'll be honest. I'm ready. Can't give up now. Like, I don't think I'm gonna start killing these monster like hunters or monsters. I don't think I'm going to start killing these monster hunters like he wants me to, I'll be honest. Yeah, it's hard to know what to do with him now. Um, 
I'm more like trying to talk my way out of these things than actually than actually trying to attack them or hurt them, so he might actually be on his own with this one. Because I think it was better that we left that other guy go, I'll be honest. But for this episode, this is where we are going to leave things. We've learned quite a lot about Gale in this one. Don't know if I should have kept him here, but like what else am I going to do? My goal with all of these is to try to help him to the best that I can. That means like say with Astarian, not giving him over to the monster hunter. And that means with Gale, still keeping him here. Interesting to see we were so close to meeting a monster hunter in say the last one. Um, or maybe even the one before at this stage. But just by, I just missed it. Just by a small bit. But yeah, in next one now, because we put Will back. In the next one, I'm going to try to find Carlac. Um, I was going to try to in this one, but quite honestly, we've covered a lot. And to start into it now, it may just run on too long for the episode. So we'll cover all that in the next one. So if you like this video, maybe give it a like. And if you would like to see future videos by me, maybe give it a subscribe as well. I'm going to put a playlist here at the rest of Tavi's journey, all 1 to 22 now at this stage. And yeah, as always though, I thank you so much for stopping by and spending this time with me. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!